There's no survivors. Great. To the desert house. You discover what is either an open grave or a very deep and rectangular pothole. We got stuff. Old wedding rings and chips and bones and great. As you dismount and approach the house where the bandits are holed up, you hear a voice from inside say, what was that? Uh-oh. Looks like you are going to have to be sneaky if you want to avoid a full fracas. Sneaky is my middle name. Wait, really? Yes, sneaky is my middle name. Okay, if you say so. Super sneaky. So fucking sneaky. You don't even see me. Weigh your options. Give the dog a bone. The knick-knack patty whack you achieve your aim. The dog begins contentedly gnawing the human femur. Good for him. The hinges on the gate are really rusty. If you open it, the guys inside are definitely going to hear it. Do I need some lube or what? I guess I'm gonna fucking fight him. Bear sneaky whales. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh no, not one HP. Ow. Okay, who wants to die? Get beefy. I need more action points. I'm gonna build us a wall. Melee attack! Yes! Yeah, baby. Yeah. Stupid gangsters, coffee house. You got a bag of ears and the desert gang six gun. Hooray! I would like to go inside, please. Frodo, thank you for your Twitch Prime sub. I really appreciate that. I can't go inside their filthy hovel? Okay. The dog has wandered off in search of some better masters. Nice job, house. Thanks, lady. Back to dirt water. You find a crate of supplies bound for a nearby army fort. Looks like it fell off the wagon, or the drivers fell off the wagon and were too drunk to strap it on. Blah, 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 blah. You've got an item hard tack and a chemical bullet. What can I sell? Plus two spell damage. I don't know. I like holding a bunch of shit. I'll sell that. Got him. A bag of severed ears and teeth. Which gang was it? The House in the Desert Gang. I'll take your word for it. Wrecked. The po Potemkin Gang for unlicensed civil engineering and flaunting of construction regulations. So many different posters.
You pick the lock. You open the latch and check out the machinery inside. There's obviously something wrong, given all the plinking and sprongling and clicking noises coming out of the gears and stuff. It looks pretty complicated. Ah, uh, I see what's wrong. You recalibrate some springs and rearrange some gears, and the machinery inside starts operating smoothly. The music improves immediately. Poor old Ellsbury. Handled it. I fixed the piano player for you. 20 experience! <laughs> Plus one maximum AP. Yep, we need that. Just a little bit of it. Fuck beef up. Muscle. Damn, I have a lot of experience. Rough and tough and ready to rumble. You have a way of getting what you want. I like melee. I want glamour too. I like meat. <laughs> Slither on out of here. So many places to go. Let's go to Cavern Canyon. You happen across an abandoned crate. The lid's been knocked loose. It's mine! Smelling salts and a sulfur match. Sweet. No, I think Cow Puncher just means I'm strong with melee. Weapons. Got a fancy knife. Plus three moxie. Hell yeah. Give me that sneak sneak scoop. Is that a spider? Should leave right now before that thing eats you. I'll fucking fight it. hell? Leave right now before that spider eats you. Uh, okay. Danger, spider. Danger, spider. Okay. What the hell is going on here? sword has like 15 dead bolts on it. The note tactic says, please don't open this door unless you want to get eaten by a giant spider. Even then, don't open it because the rest of us don't want to get eaten by a spider. It is even signed, so you can hardly be expected to take it seriously. There's no way to get through it unless you're a huge spider. It goes straight up. What the fuck? hear a horrible skittering noise followed by a scream followed by more horrible skittering noises followed by more screams followed by some rapping noises followed by some muffled screams then there's more skittering then silence let's go the gang has been prepped for spider consumption what the fuck 
poor chef is chained to the wall, his eyes widen as you approach. Hey, you're not one of them. Are you here to rescue me? Sure. Oh, thank goodness he thrusts his hands into yours and shakes vigorously. I'm Doug. Bear, how you do you do, Doug? Well, I've been chained up this dang cave for weeks, cooking for those stripy-hatted idiots. That sounds awful. Do you want to know the worst part? There's a perfectly good oven eight feet to my right, Michelle. A perfectly good ingredients eight feet to my left. How's that the worst part? This chain is only four feet long! Aw, oh, that's rough. I know, right? There I was, fresh out of culinary school with a million meat idea in my head. And now here I am, four feet shy of my dream, cooking the same pot of soup over and over again. I promise not to steal your idea. In the middle of it, there's a sausage made from the cheapest possible parts, ground up so finely you can't identify them. And it's served in a long split roll which soaks up the grease so you can't tell how fatty the sausage is. The hot Doug. How about the hot bear instead? Don't be ridiculous, hot bear. What does that even mean? Haha, <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, you can set up a shop in dirt water. Brilliant, you got our genius bear. Hot dugs for sale all day, every day. I'll make a mint. You help him break his chains. That's that. Uh, the hot dog. I got a jaw harp. What the fuck? Yeah. Whiskey. Arrest them. You stack the cocoons on the back of your horse, except for one, which Susie carries on her shoulder, and head back to jail. Got him. wanted to say hi. Hi. Well, I best be getting back to work. She coughs as if you say you should be doing something more important. I'm trying to flirt, girl. The black hat bandits. You take them all out. Oh, that's not even Susie. My bad. Hey, you mad? You angry? Hey! Hi! You angry? You mad? You mad girl? You mad girl? You mad? Yeah, you mad? Oh. Wait a bit. Shh. I can jump! The hot dog! sign outside. I changed the name. It's the hot dog. I guess I'll buy something. Oh, those are pretty juicy. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe I got something back. Nope. Cuck master. Fort cowardice it is. Silver Smith's house. Let's go there now. Silver bullet making apparatus. Huh. Make needles from a silver bullet? Interesting. Hey, girl. Butterfield Ranch. Okay. No one gives a fuck, Susie. It's Susie again. Oh my god, it's another. It's a spittoon. It might actually be a bedpan. 
What, really? I mean, if it's just a platoon, that's bad enough, but it might be a bedpan, and that would be way worse. I feel like maybe you aren't getting what I'm saying. We're talking about an object that someone probably uses when they wake up in the middle of the night and can't be bothered to walk to the outhouse. And the best you can hope for is maybe they only use it to spit nighttime tobacco juice into. In which case, it's only full of rancid, congealing tobacco spit. I'm investigating it. I, are you even listening to me, or are you just some sort of skimming past the text? Bedpan. Look, I'm pretty sure there's treasure in there and you aren't stopping me. Bedpan. I'm investigating. Okay, fine, have it your way, your own filthy, disgusting way. It turns out to probably not be a bedpan, but it's definitely a spittoon, and it's definitely filled with rotting brown spit. What is wrong with you? Pipe me. Oh, good God. Okay, you plunge your hand in up to the wrist. It makes a gloop noise and breaks the skin of congealing toxins that was previously keeping the dire smell in relative check. Zombie wolf, boom, with the Twitch Prime. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now you are choking in a miasma of oily, bitter chaw stink. You know that feeling when you get when you're about to puke? How you got that taste way back, how you get that taste way back in the rear corners of your mouth, that metallic tang by the root of your tongue like you're sucking on a corroded old penny? Just tell me what I found. A revolting brooch. Oh, I'm putting it on. I'm the king of the nasty. What did that replace? Sheriff toy. We got better items than that. Stench resistance. Interesting. All right. Search for secrets. Tucked behind one of the books, you find a small envelope filled with receipts. About half of them are from a shop called The Silver Plater. He was crooked. The silversmith was selling fake cheaps. Cheap fakes. Oh, well, he's gone now. So are most of his customers. Instant grits and plum pudding. Okay, great. Why is she so sad all the time? Thought she wanted to go to some buttersmith ranch or some shit. Military gray whiskey. I don't have safe cracking. Nice view from up here. That's where you use the binoculars. Definitely. I can't get enough. It's is it making me click them? No. Zoom out on map, please. Is that how you do it? You zoom out. I don't have any more lock picks, you son of a bitch. Shit. 
shaker of salt, Peter. Boom. Goblins. Damn it, I can't crack any damn safes. Marching orders. Fort all dead. Toilet goblin. Boom, boom. Pretty fun game, yeah. I like it. I'm gonna go fight those gooblins. Here I come, gooblins. Yeah, Gary's fucking dead, okay? Gary's dead to me. Big money. Don't kill Susie. That would have been a one shot time. I like how she pulls it off her back. A foul smelling cot, a stained cot, a surprisingly clean cot. A shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Oh my fucking god, I see. Okay. You encounter an overturned wagon surrounded by ruined books and broken pairs of spectacles. Advanced cow punching. Yeah. A perk that increases your maximum AP, reduces muscle, bull stomp. Let's do Ever Vigilant. And then you shoot the book into pieces. Because you don't trust it or anything else anymore. That book had it coming. Thanks again, mister. I wish you sold lockpicks. I already have a shovel. Please sort your inventory and sell useless stuff. Nah. I'm good. Burial whiskey. The Big Apple. Keep Ford Coward is beautiful. I'm gonna go to the Big Apple. Oh my god! A meteor with meat inside of it. As you reach the center of the clearing, you are simultaneously struck with a profound all and terrible stench as you discover the largest road apple you've ever seen. You can't even imagine how this got here. Was it a giant horse? Was it 200 normal sized horses acting col collaboratively? They, they should have sent a poet. Oh my god. Okay. 
I just destroyed a historic landmark. I got a lot of experience, okay? 116, girl. There's so many locations. Got a perk of green thumb. I love searching shit. Row of lockers. The third one is labeled loose bin and has a combination lock on it. The first one is labeled Ellsbury WM. I only get one? Skeleton covered in the same white goo that was on the outside. The guy must have died after his co-workers played a prank on him. But they stuffed him into his locker, then filled with shaving cream. I can't believe you dang jerk stuffed me into my locker and then filled it with shaving cream. I died from that, yells the skeleton, confirming both your insight and his visual murderous intent. I'll fight the fucker. He's got a lot of hell, don't he? Yup. Goodbye. Suck it. Thirty foot shaft, I'm gonna need a rope. It's an exposed meat vein. Huh. Good night, Isaac Knight. Sleep well. Thanks for hanging out. It's a cow. We're gonna have to deal with this cow if you wanna explore this area. A hell calf. Punch! Sock him. Let's get a little slice off. Oh. Holy mother of pearl, daddy. Haystack that ass. Finish him. Perfect damage. Roasted cow tongue. Extra thick leather. Susie carves another notch in the stock of her rifle. Rope. Needles. A red hot pioker. You have nothing to churn. Curly was here. You recognize that name. Curly. Curly Butterfield. The legend of Curly's meat. Looks like maybe this outhouse is worth investigating. Luckily, you don't have to actually go inside because once you open the door, you find a map scratched onto the inside of it. Coal Ridge, just west of here. Okay. So, to your horror, you see every single cow in the Butterfield Dairy herd is now an ungolith, an infernal cow spirit bound in stone. They're not dangerous unless you get near them. I will walk among them. I will walk among them. Got an item Menudo Geode. You thin the herd a little. Not enough. It can never be enough. Susie carves another notch into the stock of her rifle. Cow hate flashes in her eyes. Her resolve intensifies. Susie has become stronger. There are still an effectively infinite number of ungulates here. I will walk among them. For Susie! Infernal Soul Fragment. Oh, fuck me, there's two now. Yep. 
Yeah, Nick, it was like 11 bucks too, it's great. Shabo. She is killing it now. Boom shakalaka. A brass bull ring. Susie has become stronger. Years of being stuck in the nose of a cow have done nothing for the finish on this thing. Okay. Way to go. Seven to nine. Walk among them. Here, Susie. Oh, my God, she's a legend. Got to jump on him this time, Susie. Later, bitch. Bum, 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 bum. Bam! Carry me, Susie. She like one shot on him yet? No, not quite. She is the AD carry, isn't she? Mmm, spray me in the face, your love. An infinite amount, my asshole. Susie has become stronger. Grinding, boys. I don't want any of those yet. Four of these scum suckers, huh? Yes, sir! Up. Goodbye. Susie is a legend. GG. The beast. Think. She does not like cows. At all. One shot him. It's almost better if I just stun them every turn. That's pretty awesome. Is this how you break the game? 
six cows, you think? I don't know, dude. I don't know. Screw beef up. La 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 la. Punch. Oh, she still hit the front one. Interesting. Yeah, my main character is ass, apparently. What is the beef? I wonder if a wall could block mysticality. Oh, didn't clear him. That's a lot of experience, guys. I want to upgrade Haymaker again. It also makes them stun for two rounds. There are still an effectively infinite number of Ungoliths here. Good. <laughs> Why is this game so fun? What the fuck? I think I can finish this one. Nope! The God Cow Killer. Bam! Brass rings for everyone. Still not five yet. Oh, boo. He barely lived. I guess stinking burrows. They're gonna give me like infinite enemies to fight. Like, I'm gonna fuck them up. I got a cow's eye. A hundred meat. Susie has become stronger. Still not five of them. Not that I see. This one only has 38 health. 53 damage. Well then. Get beefy. Oh, I still get to attack? Well, that changes everything. It says they do mystic damage, though. These do. Still can't get Haymaker yet. Mystic to deal physical? That's weird. Okay, whatever. It looks like I'm winning.
Man! <laughs> Haymaker level three. Still four. I don't think it gets more than that. That stuns for two rounds. Number one stunner. What, 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 what? Didn't want to shoot that one, whatever. Yeah, her rifle's gonna be like just a a whittled down stick. I mean, I feel pretty strong now. Good God, man. We're rich. Uh, let's untie. I'm 15 experience. Incorrigible thief, do not untie. Oh, well. Oh, shit. Well, I got 15 experience. But I knew the combination. Well, I have rope now. Curly's compass. Searching for my fortune. Look at all the meat! You don't like this spiral at all. Black fluid oozes from the vein. A scabrous mass sits below it on the floor. Stafford thank you for the Twitch Prime sub! Pickaxe. Hate this spiral. Rip it out. Okay. I'll take all that goody good meat. Mm, we're rich. Excellent. Thank you, Stefferless, for the sub! You could grind forever and get the XP and loot, so does Susie have a damage modifier against cows, or is it against all enemies? I have no flippin' idea. Dynamite Dan! He has a lot of A year supply of dynamite! One year. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> A gray mist closes in on you and Trish. On you as Trish marches confidently forward through the gnarled and ancient forest. You shudder. Trish stops. Through the fog ahead, you see a shape. You dismount to investigate, and it reveals itself to be a shape of a pedestal topped with the shape of a book. Introductory next mex. A chill runs down your spine as you touch the book. Nice. The black-covered book, written in black ink on black paper, is a primer in the arts of southwestern necromancy, otherwise known as next mex. Gives you the grinning skull skill. This seems like it's probably pretty dangerous. Or are you sure you want to read it? I mean, my horse led me to it. Okay, it's your funeral. Whatever, Grandma. 
You cannot see the words on the pages, but you can nevertheless read them. Your mind becomes stained with grim secrets. Skulls are scary and ghosts are scary. So you know what would be double scary? Yes, you do. As you turn over the last page, the book vanishes in a puff of smoke. <coughs> Base damage spooky. Okay. Nice watch. I got it from a girl named Button Willa McSomething. Cool. We got the location of... I'm going to mention it. <coughs> I'm in charge of being charitable. Foreman. Okay. What up, girl? Ever since I was a little boy, huge, magnificent, roaring iron beasts, they were magical to me like dragons. When the opportunity arose to take on a management of this rail line, I jumped on it. I'm the new foreman. What? Okay. Um, we need dynamite. A lot of dynamite. Okay. I mean, I could go buy a year's worth of it. It's 5,000 meat. Oh, God, guys. I just looked at the time. It is... 1117... 